Today's video is sponsored by Sheet Music Plus, a great website with sheet music from any genre you could possibly want. Click the link down in the description below and enter in the word love at checkout and you get $15 off your order. How about that? In the meantime, stick around. We got a great video coming for you. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today is the fifth and final installment in a series of videos aimed at new musicians buying their first musical instrument. To see other videos like this, click up here. Today's video is about buying your first drum kit, whether acoustic or electronic. Drums provide the backbone of any musical group and can dynamically affect how your group's sound and music is perceived. Hope you like making noise, because here comes the boom. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share and uh, yeah, let's go. Before we go further, I would like to thank schoolofrock.com for a lot of this information. Shopping for a beginner drum set is complicated. Depends on how you're gonna use it. You gotta figure out how, you know, the age of the drummer, how eager are they willing to learn? Where, where and when are they gonna practice? And what's your budget? Unlike most other instruments, drums can be arranged in different ways and customized to the drummer's style or preferences. A beginning drummer's kit should look quite different from a veteran drummer's. A kit for a beginning drummer should provide what they need to build fundamental skills without adding in hardware or pieces that only distract the student. Here's what to look for when buying drums. If cost is your main concern and you're shopping for a young kid, you can find something inexpensive for them to bang around on. The least expensive option is an all-inclusive bundle, but you'll want to verify what's included in the package. A drum set needs shells, the actual drums, cymbal stands, cymbals, bass, drum pedal, and a throne to be fully functional. Make sure to try out any kit before you buy it, so that you can make sure you reach everything and that size isn't a problem. But buying drums should always be done in person. Even if it's advertised online, you gotta go and try it out. If you're trying to decide between multiple kits, you should listen to them being played at full force. And if you're a beginner, feel free to ask the salesperson to give it a whirl. Make sure you compare the overall tone on the kits that you're trying to choose from, and uh, think about your preferred style of music that you're gonna be playing as well. Now with drum kits, you'll likely be buying the one that's on display. So inspect it closely for any damaged heads, cracked cymbals, or scratches in the wood or finish of the drum shells. What exactly makes up a drum kit? There's many elements, and the main categories are drums, cymbals, and hardware. There's three main types of cymbals, crash, ride, and hi-hats, but there's a slew of other ones. The crash cymbals are used to accent songs, while the ride cymbal tends to be a large, thick cymbal that produces a bell-like tone. The hi-hats are a pair of smaller, thin cymbals that are activated by a foot pedal, and it makes them strike each other. The foot pedal is included with the hi-hat stand generally, <laughs> and does not need to be purchased separately. Now, I'm talking about the drums. You've got the snare and the tom drums, among others. The snare drum is one of the loudest and most prominent drums. Uh, the bottom, or resonant, drum head has a symbol of snares, or thin wires, that gives the drum its sharp sound. Generally, a drum kit will have three tom drums, a floor tom mounted on a stand, as well as a medium and a high tom mounted to the set itself. And then you got your kick drum, of course. Now all drums have heads, and they're generally included in the purchase. The top head, the one that you actually strike, is called a batter head, and the other bottom head is called the resonant head. And the heads are tuned with a system of, of lugs. In my opinion, one of the most underrated things for a drummer is their throne, which is the seat. The drum throne should be adjustable and comfortable because you're going to be on it for a long time. You don't get to get up and move around while you're playing. Drumsticks and brushes, very, very important. Without them, you're just playing with your hands. 
and they come in different sizes and different woods and different shapes and that's something you're really going to have to inv invest some time in. Now this video is just touching the tip of the iceberg when it comes to all the different ways that you can design and, and build and, and outfit your acoustic or electronic drum set. Take the time to research what's going to work for you and you'll definitely see results in the end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it somewhat informational. If you would like to see some, uh, you know, beginner priced drum sets, there's some uh, links in the description. There's also links down there for my Patreon page and my CDs that I've got out for sale, as well as room6.shop, my online store where you can pick up cool merch. Um, really hope you enjoyed this series. If you have any ideas for other things that new musicians or any musicians should probably know more about, please drop them in the comments. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. Click down here and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, practice, 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 stay safe, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.